Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video for Sword of Convalaria, it's my lucky day. I've got two of the exclusive heroes into the special banners. We have an overview over them in today, and we will be talking about each skill of them. For the summons, the heroes I got was Nunu Will, as well as the other one here gonna be cool. Well, he's cool and really an amazing one. So for the characters, we're gonna start first with cool. The Seeker, the Assassin, how you'd like to call him. For me, I'm calling him the One-Shot Assassin. For his skill, it starts with the Dual Blade Strike. He deals 50% physical damage two times to the target. At the same time, there is a chance you actually can be moving after. Then we have the other skill, the Reaction. Reaction when healthy after receiving single target attack, teleports behind the attacker, initates a strike back which deals 70% damage and gains a dodge effect for one turn. When the injured triggers dodge, then it's having a cooldown three turns. And then we have the healthy is a stat activated when HP is no less than 70%. So it's basically when he's having higher HP than this. The dodge one direct single target attack from an enemy. So he's just, let's say, he's just gonna be attacking whenever he's being attacked. Then we have in the injured. Activates when HP is below 70%. It reduces the damage dealt by 20 and increases the damage taken by 20. Then we have in the next skill, which is active skill. Physical damage deals 45% damage three times when attacking and there is a crit chance increased by 20%. That's why I'm calling him the one-shot hero. And then we have in the next skill gonna be the ambush. When performing an active attack, if the target is unharmed, it will be dealing 20% physical damage, and when performing a back attack on the unharmed targets, additionally, it will be inflicting the passive skills or to be removing or disable the passive skill for a turn. This is really one of the good skills I, I like about him to be having the options to be moving two times. And then the last skill going to be the assault. It's instant gain a crit increase as well as a crit damage and move level two. And then we can see here clear explanation of each one of these spots here so yeah this is really a great hero i say it's a waste if you're not having this one at least that's my personal view and then of course by ranking this one we're going to get even more skills more options to be switching the skills and things like that then we have in the next hero going to be Nunu Will. For Nunu Will, she's another seeker type, working or focusing on the not really extremely long range, but not a close combat either. Her, bas her basic attack, it's dealing 50% damage on two attacks on the enemy that is close and it's just one tile away. And then for the first skill or the reaction or the passive, when hit by an active attack, the damage taken is decreased by 8% upon receiving an active attack and it additionally recover one or I don't know this one the NRG then for the active skill number one it's the thousand blade known will will be performing three cons consecutive attacks against all enemies within two tiles around herself and each attack will be dealing 30 percent with the damage and it's here we can see the range of the attack it's an aoe attack so that's why she's not just focusing on the close combat then we have in the other skill which is the infected dagger and it's a single target attack dealing 70 percent damage and in like three stacks of infection and this infection here it's the character gonna be lose a certain amount of hp after each turn or stack deal higher damage and it's stackable up to nine times and the stack calls after taking effect or the last one going to be the enhancing shadow instant uno will gains dodge and inflict vulnerable level three which lasts for two turns on all enemies within two tiles around herself this is increased damage taken so this will be helping to make her deal even more damage to the target that is having this effect on which is making her massively great hero be having in the team especially it will be great for the tower of Convalaria or in the campaign or the story in general so she's really a great one the main team i'm using is including maitha cool Michael, nunu will and alexia so yeah this is the team i'm using and it's just in five days i've been extremely lucky with the summons one summon got each one of them really a great luck i got on this account and it's a completely 100% piece of play. That's all guys for this video and the overview over Cool and Nunu Will and talking a bit around their skills and how they work. That's all and I hope you will be enjoying this and it will be making you understand what skills to be expecting from this one. And of course, 
don't forget that you actually can be changing the skills after having the rank for the hero is increased. It's all depending on how you're going to be building up this one. Like if for Nuno Will you can go for the melody or for Hidden Blade. It's all depending on the play style. For me, I'm going on a melody. Well, I'm mixing between both of them. It all depends on how I'm feeling I would like to be getting from her. So yeah, that's all guys. And see you all with another sort of Condelaria video. 